In this video, we're going to learn the rules for subtracting integers. Subtracting integers or negative numbers can be really tricky. So I'm going to explain to you what actually happens when you subtract integers. So when you think about subtracting integers, we're going to start with a really easy problem, like 5 minus 3. We know from our basic facts that 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Now I want to show you what happens when I rewrite this problem as 5 plus negative 3. What answer do you get when you use your addition rules to add 5 plus negative 3? Well, if you've been following along on algebraclass.com, you know that when you add integers that have different signs, you take the difference. So you subtract. So 5 minus 3 is 2. And then you take the sign of the number with the larger absolute value. So 5, the absolute value of 5 is 5, and the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. 5 is larger, it's positive, so our answer is positive. So notice how 5 minus 3 equals 2, but 5 plus negative 3 also equals 2. And this is what happens with every single subtraction problem. You could rewrite the subtraction problem as an addition problem and get the same answer. We call it adding the opposite. When you subtract, you're actually adding the opposite like we did here. So every subtraction problem can be rewritten as an addition problem and then all you need to do is memorize those addition rules in order to find the solution. So, I have a cute little phrase here that helps you to remember how to rewrite your subtraction problem as an addition problem. And it's called keep, change, change. So when you keep the first number the same, notice that five remains five, you change the minus to a plus sign, and you change the sign of the second number to its opposite. So here, 3 was positive, we made it negative. So if you keep, change, change, you rewrite it as addition and then use your addition rules. So let me show you how it works. The keep, change, change rule works. Let's start with 12 minus negative 6. This can be pretty confusing because you have a minus sign and a negative sign. So we're going to use our keep change change rule to rewrite it as an addition problem. So I'm going to keep 12 the same, change my minus to a plus, change the sign of this number to its opposite. Right now it's negative, so I'm going to change it to positive. And this becomes 12 plus 6, which is 18. If this answer is 18, then this answer is also 18. Because remember, we can rewrite our subtraction as addition, adding the opposite. So we're adding the opposite because these are opposite signs. Okay? It's really that simple. And if you remember keep, change, change, it's easy to rewrite it. So let's take a look at another problem, negative 5 minus 20. I can rewrite this one by keeping negative 5 the same, changing subtraction to addition, changing my second number to its opposite. This is positive 20, so I'm going to make it negative 20. Now I have negative 5 plus negative 20. When I add numbers that have the same sign, I'm going to add the numbers, so 20 plus 5 is 25 and keep the sign, which is negative. So that means that negative 5 minus 20 is also negative 25. Okay? Now, when you get really good at this, it's great because then you can actually do all the work within the problem and you don't even have to rewrite it. So here's what I mean. I have negative 7 minus 3. Not a great problem because I have negatives and the minus, so I'm going to rewrite it as addition. Instead of rewriting it underneath, I'm going to say keep, so I'm not going to touch this negative 7, 
change this to addition, change this to its opposite. Right now it's positive, so I'm going to put a little negative. So now I have negative 7 plus negative 3. Signs are the same. Add the numbers, keep the sign. So the answer is negative 10. Okay, and just one more. I want to make sure you have it. Um, if we do 2 minus negative 10, I just want to show you what happens when you work within the problem and you have a negative here. So keep 2 the same, change, change. So now you have 2 plus 10 is 12. So 2 minus negative 10 is also equal to 12. Okay, so remember the keep change change rule or add the opposite, but either way, as long as you rewrite your subtraction problem as addition, all you have to do is remember those addition rules.